So this is what we've got. American flag, another American flag. American flag, being an American flag. As you can probably realize by now, I'm not in London anymore. I haven't edited all my London videos, that's why you haven't seen any of them, but that will be up next week. And right now it's 4th of July and just chilling out on a boat as you do on our way to the 4th of July parade because Addison had this really good idea that we're gonna do this photo. It's just a really random idea. It's not gonna be a professional photo or anything like that. We wanna make the most American photo ever. We're gonna get some inspiration from this parade first and then we'll see how we go. Got all the inspiration I need, I reckon. Mum, what do you reckon? I reckon. You reckon? Did well. She reckons. That's such an Australian word. When you say reckon around here, people are like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So at the parade, the main thing that was there was the American flag. So we're obviously going to get an American flag for this photo. Maybe get like an American football. Anything that's really American. I, we've left it really last minute, so that's the problem. Let's just try and get as many as possible. We'll make do. <laughs> Right now is my outfit. There we go. Well, this is not perfect, but it's good enough for the amount of time that we had. So this is what we've got. American flag, another American flag, American flag scarf thingy, I don't know. Mini American flag, some Bud Light, American football, red solo cup, some American cash, these American star necklace things. I guess we're just gonna have to make use of what we have. We don't have everything, but this is gonna be fun. I just finished shooting those photos, man. That was, that was so funny. A lot of people think that photography, like people take it so seriously, and which is all good. That's all fun and everything. But sometimes you just gotta relax and just have fun with it. Just experiment kind of thing. That was really fun. Can't wait to look at those photos. But right now I gotta celebrate the 4th of July like a, like a normal person. Okay, let me explain this. I just had a random spontaneous wisdom tooth taken out of my mouth and I'm currently high on drugs, so I can't even take myself seriously. All right, so the photos. This was one of the most spontaneous, fun photo shoots that I've ever done, and it just happened to be outside the front door of my new house. I was using my 55 mil, and I cut the aperture right back to 1.8, so that created the bokeh in the background. And for those who don't know what bokeh is, that's the blurry background that isolates the subject. It's a great lens for portrait photography. Also, a crazy thing in the B-roll montage, you see the wad of cash that's in his top pocket. It looks like there's a dollar bill that's just attached to his chest but it's actually two dollar bills it's one that's like out and then one that's folded down to make it look like it's it's like perfectly in line it makes it look like it's just one dollar bill just sticking on his chest literally perfectly lines up oh my god my my mouth feels like <laughs> it's that fat anyway it was a great day great fourth of july great night everything about that day it was awesome. Speaking of different photography ideas, if you guys have any other ideas that you want me to do, leave it down in the comments and I might end up doing it. All right, question of the day. A prime lens for a beginner recommended. 
He's definitely not English. Uh, I shouldn't laugh at that, I'm sorry. I'm just blaming it on the drugs. So a prime lens that I would recommend for a beginner would definitely be a 50 mil or a 55 mil, just around there, something like that, that can cut the aperture down to something really low, like f1.8 or f2 or something. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys like this video, maybe click that like button and subscribe. It's up to you. Just consider it. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again. I am so high right now. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.